how does our consciousness make sense of the universe and exactly stability? exactly so the the term that you used is very interesting consciousness yeah so consciousness is what exactly is consciousness that's mm. where philosophy and science come together try to come together try to come together yeah. the reason why i am mentioning philosophy is because science does not have a definition of consciousness mm. how do i define what consciousness is mm-hmm. So if I were to try to make a, an attempt to define consciousness, let's say I have a black box that is conscious. Huh. So what does it mean to be conscious? Right. Right. So one of the things, the, what are the characteristics of a consciousness? Hmm. It means that it has an, a snapshot or an idea of the external universe internally. Plus us. Plus us. Plus yeah. us internally. Huh. System ke under. It has memory of what happened in the past. Yeah. And uh, it has some sense of time. So... It's a very vague thing. Yeah. We can't even properly define what it means for a system to be conscious. Exactly. Right. How do you d- differentiate a computer from, uh, let's a say, a being. dog? Yeah. Okay. What is the difference? Kya hai? Hmm. So that also is something that it is still right. a work in progress. We don't have an idea of what it is. But consciousness seems to be something that is important in quantum physics, possibly. Ah. You know, uh, consciousness co- causes collapse it's one of the one of the interpretations of con- of, of interpretations of, 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 yeah of quantum mechanics you know collapse the collapse of the wave function mm. things like that so it's a very fascinating area of study and it's definitely something that exists mm. consciousness ek cheez hai uh. it is not some philosophical concept it's something that exists when we see something that is consciousness we can recognize it immediately mm. agar if you see a dog you know it's conscious mm. if you see a lion you know it's conscious if you yeah. see a snake you know it's conscious yeah. the degree of consciousness may be different mm. if you see a stone you know it's not conscious if you mm. see a cup of coffee you know it's not conscious mm. so we recognize it immediately when we see it but we don't know how to define it it's mm. definitely a physical property it's definitely something that exists but science doesn't know how to treat it mm. we don't know whether it's physical whether it's biological whether it's chemical where does it come from mm. where what does it do huge huge mystery right i think it it is something that that transcends all we, the domains including philosophy exactly exactly so sir there are some scientific theories uh, however we need more clarity towards them hmm. so like one this scientific theory one scientist was there i read this long before so it basically defined consciousness and also created levels out of it okay so for instance like uh, living beings uh who have uh, who have not evolved that much so they're still uh, in the rudimentary stage of evolution like a very simple structure they have less consciousness and gradually so for instance a fish would have less consciousness as compared to let's say a bird or a mammal and then eventually a mammal so co- he defined consciousness as something like uh how many like how much information can you uh, uh can you generate and then can you create a feedback system of mm-hmm. constant because there are different lobes in the brain and there is a, a huge feedback system uh, uh, in the circuitry ki okay uh, so there are different so for instance like if we talk about humans there is this uh, hippocampus and other areas as well which store memory so some uh, some areas in the prefrontal cortex as well short term and long term memory and then there is your uh, uh, this amygdala and the limbic system the uh, brain stem cerebellum that creates the autonomic response yes. so which is the fight and flight response yeah and then there is the dorsolateral prefrontal cortex which acts as a mediator of retrieving the information from your hippocampus and then passing it on to the insula where the decision making is done so essentially in- insula gets two types of signals one is from the reptilian brain ki immediate koi threat hai ki nahi and then also from the prefrontal cortex which is the dorsolateral prefrontal cortex and it it coordinates with the uh, with the hippocampus for that to retrieve the information and then it passes on to the insula the insular cortex which kind of makes a decision ki emotion ko suppress karna hai prefrontal cortex ke logic se ya fir emotions ko havi hone dena hai aur bhago like matlab main adrenergic system jo hai symp- uh, uh, sympathetic nervous system to usko i message ki okay it's time to f- f- uh, you know run so like this complex interplay wherein you have your own identity as well which is neuroplastic so every new sensation that you get is is shaping your identity uh, and at the same time uh, there are different uh, other areas in the brain which are constantly creating a feedback mechanism this is kind of like a consciousness even though it's not totally clear like obviously we need more uh, clarity in on this theory as well so that scientist has particularly said ki there are different levels of consciousness uh, humans are on the top level of consciousness as far as you know yes because our our brain is the morphology of our brain is uh, is much more developed than let's say uh, something like a tadpole mm-hmm. 
so do you think there 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 would be a metaphysical angle to it or science all in itself can maybe in future be able to decipher it i think eventually when you when science advances enough or maybe our intelligence advances enough we may yeah. be able to make sense of it the question is is co- consciousness something that emerges out of com- out of complexity i mean for example if you were rock mm-hmm. there's something complex about it it's a very co- simple quantum structure yes, absolutely and maybe that's why there's no consciousness there mm. and our brain as far as we know is the most complex machine that exists in the universe absolutely that, that we have come across thus far and maybe it's this complexity that is giving rise to co- to to consciousness uh-huh. so maybe consciousness is an emergent uh, phenomenon it's an emergent phenomenon it emerges out of, yes. out of consciousness. Yes. That is one theory. There are other theories that, that are not quite scientific at all, which mm. say that consciousness is a field that permeates the universe. And ah. it, it gets focused in, in some places, that which is, is clearly not a scientific yeah. theory. It's a, meta- 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 a metaphysical theory, like yeah. you're saying. Uh, so the, the, the jury is out there. We still don't know. Mm. Uh, it is. Uh, it does look like it emerges out of the consciousness, the interplay of the neurons and all that. Ah. But once again, nobody can say for certain. Nobody can say, say yeah. for sure. Just, I suppose one could create a different kind of system which also may uh, witness consciousness. Ah. So at the end of the day, there are different approaches. One is the information theory approach, ah. Ah. Uh, which is, uh, I think, it's a good approach to see yes. whether uh, scientific approach, scientific approach, approach, mathematical approach. Yes, mathematical. consciousness. So uh, I would say that let's ex- examine this from the scientific perspective exhaustively. Let's let the best minds come come. Yes. Into this yes. and see it. Uh, I think if our science advances far enough, we may be maybe perhaps be able to make sense of consciousness hmm. scientifically. And then, and then there are people like Elon Musk, like who who are believing in this vision that oh hey we'll upload the entire conscious all the con- consciousness and all the information from a brain on like onto a robot, mm-hmm. and then eventually or like we'll we'll create some sort of artificial brain that is attached to the machine to a computer so that we can preserve the consciousness and the information of a particular brain before I, dying i think you can definitely in the future eventually preserve the information mm. i am not sure you can preserve the consciousness mm. the, let's do a thought experiment we've seen star trek right yeah you go into this thing and then the person uh, trans is transmitted somewhere else mm. transported yeah so the Teleported. atoms are dissociated over here and the same atoms are recreated over ah, there ah. I think what you're creating is a new person there and you're killing this person here. It's not the consciousness that is being transmitted over there. Hmm. It's a it's a copy of the consciousness that being, that's being recreated, recreated in the destination. Hmm. So I think this consciousness here is a unique consciousness. If you were to create a, a Star Trek kind of machine, the transporter or whatever it's called, hmm. beam, beam me down there or something, beam me down, Scotty. Huh. You are actually creating a replica, a a uh, copy of the consciousness, not the exact same consciousness. Uh, and the person whose atoms are dissociating over here, that person dies. Mm. So I don't think you can actually copy the consciousness or transmit the consciousness. You can just copy the information. Mm. And the consciousness is an interplay of all the structures maybe of the brain. And if you just upload the data, it won't upload the consciousness. Mm. But sir, then this would be this would be based on the premise if we are assuming that consciousness is not information. Mm. But if we like somehow prove it, or like if we somehow discover that, oh, hey, consciousness is also information. It's just a sophisticated feedback system of the information, of interplay of uh, of different systems that are sharing uh, the information uh, uh, in a particular fashion. So with that said, like if, if there is, if we can transfer the information in the right way. So probably in theory, there should be no, uh, no difference whatsoever if let's say if you're using the the, the ship of thesis uh, logic like uh, so there was this thought experiment ship of thesis which they had done ki, I think some philosopher had done in the past ki, if I start removing each and every part of a ship and create a new ship uh, so the all the parts of the ship has, has been transferred to this new ship but then ultimately that particular ship can I say that that this is a new ship or uh, or what? Because this is new as well, but then at the end of the day, each and every part of it is of the old ship. So something like that. So if if we if we kind of can say for certain that oh hey, conscious is nothing but information at the basic level, because there are many scientific theories that hint kind of towards that. Okay, our ultimate reality is nothing but information. Information theory. Yes, information theory. Yeah. And this has been start. This had start, has started propagated more uh, in the late modern era. 
so since 2021st century ki oh hey everything is information even they they talk about the black holes as well and then there's holographic principle as well like universe the main data center of the universe being somewhere outside the universe on the surface on the outer surface outer surface of the yeah. universe but then at the same time it it's being translated uh, over here so the thing is uh it's it's quite possible that everything is information mm. it it it's also possible like you were saying that the, our consciousness is the interplay of the various systems and subsystems of the brain with the information that they contain in that case if you want to replicate the consciousness of a person you will have to replicate the data in the exact same way it's stored in the exactly. brain in the same structures right if you put it on a hard drive mm. that's not the same structure as, you, as, yeah. as what you have here yeah. so then you're just storing the data in a platform or in a in a, in a database mm. the brain is not simply a database it's the interplay the complex interplay yes, yes. of lots of different systems with yes. chemicals and uh, neurochemicals involved in that dna expressions as well exactly there's so much more that yeah. we simply have no idea about yes. and all of that interplay interplay is most likely giving rise to what we perceive as our consciousness ah. so if you want to replicate the consciousness itself in addition to the, to the data hmm. you will have to store it in something that looks exactly like the human brain hmm. with the same biology same biology then it will work and same codings same coding the same encoding the yes. same the decoding DNA mechanisms also will have to be the same yes the rna transcription and all of all that. that stuff yeah so then you then you may have mm. an actual consciousness that, that's being replicated even then it will be a copy of copy. the shape of thesis yeah. not if, the exact if, same if, shape if, so? if if you look at it from like a, a philosophical angle it would be a copy it would be a copy yeah but from a, a utilitarian perspective it would be the same yeah thing.